you guys? It's your boy Alex West Collects here, bringing the most in-depth action figure views here on YouTube. And today we're taking a look at the McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse Platinum Edition Catwoman from The Dark Knight Rises. So I don't know if this is a store exclusive. I don't believe so. I found her at Target. I believe she's one per case. Um, some people were saying they opened cases and they didn't have uh, the other Platinum uh, Edition, which is the Skydive Batman or this Catwoman. So... I don't know, I guess it's going to be a random mix, uh, but I was able to call up my local Target. They actually held the whole case, even though I only needed her because I was trying to explain which one uh, I needed. They held the case, and I actually ended up just grabbing the Catwoman. They told me they had six, so generally six means, okay, you should, for the most part, maybe have one uh, Platinum Edition each of the Skydive Batman uh, which is essentially the Dark Knight uh, Batman uh, with a, a cloth wired cape. Kind of a gimmicky there. I know if you have the Batman six-pack version, that is very similar minus the cape and a few of the different uh, paint details it looks like. But uh, when I got there, they only had five figures. So I don't know if someone who was a collector in that store maybe scooped it up or whatever. Uh, but, you know, I'm happy to have uh, Catwoman here. She wasn't too bad to hunt down. I wasn't even sure if I really wanted her, to be honest with you guys. Uh, but then I started looking at my McFarlane collection. I was like, well, I got Two-Face. I have Scarecrow, I have uh, Bane, I have the Joker. I feel like I have most of the villains from uh, the Nolan franchise. I said, you know what? I didn't really care for Anne Hathaway's Catwoman, to be honest. Uh, but I'm going to grab her, just to kind of complete it. And you know what? If I change her mind, I can maybe uh, trade her or, or get rid of her. But I was able to grab her, so I figured I'd do a fun, quick review, uh, review for you guys here. So your standard McFarlane uh, DC Multiverse packaging, the awesome window box here. You will see she does come with a bunch of interchangeable hands. One is actually missing, if you guys can see it. It's in the box here. You guys can hear that. It did kind of come loose, but it's still in there. You get the broken mask, which I feel like should have probably came with Bane, right? But she does come with it. You get Bruce uh, Wayne's mother's pearls here. Uh, so some nice detailing uh, with this figure and the accessories. You will see the Platinum Edition sticker here on the front. Flipping to the side, you will see the Catwoman nameplate. Same on the other side, Catwoman, the Dark Knight Rises. On the back, you will have the image of your Anne Hathaway Catwoman. Let's come back, crack her out of the packaging, and see what this figure is all about. So here is our Anne Hathaway Catwoman out of the packaging. Let's look at all the accessories that she does come with. So you do get your trading card here. You get the image of the Catwoman Anne Hathaway here on the front. On the back, if you guys want to pause and take a look at this little read-up, you can. Uh, you also get your traditional McFarlane DC black stand, which like I say in every review, I really do appreciate it. There's not many lines that still do that, uh, especially for a $19.99 price point. Um, she also does come with a set of fisted hands here. They are a little tiny, so be careful uh, not to lose these. You also do get two kind of like grappling hands here. If you guys wanted to, I guess, put maybe the pearls in her hands as she's stealing them or maybe the broken Batman mask. But here are the pearls. We'll zoom in for you guys to get a better look. Decent detail in the jewelry box does not close. I don't believe that would have been nice if it did, but you'll see uh, the pearls here uh, in the jewelry box. Very simple. And you also do have the broken cowl. So a lot of nice accessories included with her. Um, there actually is another version that did come with the, uh, I guess I forgot what the, the, the term was, the bad bike, or whatever the hell it was called in the Dark Knight, but, uh, the bike, uh, there was another version of that Catwoman. Uh, she has a different, I don't know if it's, the head is different or maybe the ears are just flipped back, but that is the only difference other than this, uh, figure here for the most part. But let's get a quick close-up look at that head sculpt here. Uh, decent likeness to Anne Hathaway. I do like it. You can see it from all angles. She's got a little bit of that, like, uh, red around her cheeks to really capture that look. Looks pretty good. I do like the cat ears that are up. I feel like that's traditionally what you'd want to see with a Catwoman figure. Take a look at her hair sculpt in the back. No complaints. I think it looks pretty good. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. And for a suit, again, traditional Catwoman. Black stealth. You can see the, the zipper up here molded on there. Nice texturing to it. You can see the nice kind of shiny uh, gloves she has. And she's got these more open Catwoman hands. I believe this is, I don't know if this is the same as the Nightfall Catwoman body, but I do have that figure in my collection. We can definitely compare. Uh, we can see the nice sculpting on her belt. And I love that it's it's got a nice shiny finish to it. Really does contrast well. You can see her, her legs and these big tall boots. Again, have the shiny finish as well. She does have the heels on, which make her a little tough to stand. But thank God we do have the display stand. You'll see the back of her heels do have the, this kind of nice silver painting to it. One more quick overview here. So everything you'd probably want for your Anne Hathaway Catwoman is included with this figure, and I feel like it looks pretty damn good. 
Moving on to some figure comparison. So here's the Nightfall Catwoman. You can see this is a completely different body. Uh, no texturing here as far as on the suit. Uh, the boots are even a little taller, so they are completely different. Obviously, different hair sculpt. You can see the hands. Maybe they may share that same mold for the most part, but it is completely different. And uh, both are looking pretty great here, to be honest with you guys. Start off our villain comparison from the Nolan franchise. We have Harvey Dent Two-Face here on the left, and we have the Scarecrow. Here we have a few more villains. We have the Heath Ledger Joker on the left. On the right, we have Bane from the same movie of The Dark Knight Rises as Catwoman. And lastly, we have Catwoman with a few different Batman figures from The Dark Knight. So we have the Dark Knight Batman as well as the Skydive Batman, which is the other figure in this set. So here's one quick group shot of all of my Nolan franchise Batman figures. Uh, we can go ahead and wrap it up here. If you guys have enjoyed this video review, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you think of this Catwoman. Have you had any luck tracking her down? Uh, are there any other Nolan franchise Batman characters that you'd like? I would love to have Commissioner Gordon. Uh, maybe Officer Blake, but I feel like we're we're kind of getting towards the end, maybe. I don't know. Let me know down in the comments below who you think we should have. As far as this Catwoman figure goes, I'm pleasantly surprised. I actually really do like her. I, I, this is the main reason I got her, is to have this group shot with all these guys standing together. And, you know, I'm glad I was able to track her down. Uh, do I think she's a must-have? Uh, it depends. If you're a big fan of hers, personally, like I said, I don't really think she was the best Catwoman. Uh, to me, Michelle Pfeiffer was, uh, will probably be my, my favorite Catwoman of all time. I would love to see McFarlane uh, do her in figure form. But it's a great figure. I do love the gear. Uh, she comes with the, the perfect amount of accessories. The head sculpt is great. And she pairs nicely with all of your other figures from uh, this movie franchise. Uh, before you guys go, don't forget to follow me on Instagram and TikTok at AlexWestCollects. I appreciate you guys checking this video review, and I'll catch you all on the next one.